creating your own website without learning how to code or hiring a developer used to be almost impossible. However, nowadays anyone can use WordPress and plugins like Elementor to create a website in no time. I'm Adi Purdila and in this tutorial mini-series I'm going to show you how to build a website using WordPress and Elementor and walk you through the entire process step by step. Here's what you'll learn in this video. I'll start with the technical setup and explain how to install the necessary plugins. Then I'll show you how to create your website pages. And finally, I'll give you a quick tour of Elementor and show you the basic operations. So let's dive right in and learn about the technical setup. To get a website up and running, you'll need a few things. A domain, uh, hosting for your website files, and a working uh, installation of WordPress. Now, for this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already have these and just focus on the Elementor plugin. With that said, let me show you my local WordPress setup. So I'm using macOS and an application called MAMP. And this is a free app that you can download to create uh, an Apache and MySQL server and you'll also have a PHP on here. So you can install WordPress locally on your PC. It works both on Windows and Mac OS. So if you don't have a real server to work on currently, you can work locally and then upload the entire website to your server. So the installation I have here is pretty simple. I don't have any plugins installed here whatsoever. And I'm currently using version 4.9.8 of WordPress. Now, everything I do here locally can be done on a uh, live server. The WordPress installation is exactly the same. The only difference is um, all the things that I do here, the website that I create here, uh, can only be accessed from my computer while uh, when you're working on a live server that website will be accessible from uh, anywhere. Now let's go ahead and install the Elementor plugin. Uh, there are two versions, a free and a pro. Uh, I recommend you get the pro version because it offers some more professional tools and also a bunch of uh, premium templates and blocks uh, so you have a larger variety of content to choose from. To get the plugin, you would go to Elementor.com and if you want the free one, simply download it from here or if you want the pro one, uh, go to pricing and pick one uh, that's um, suitable for you. So once you got the uh, plugins, you would need to go back to your WordPress dashboard under plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, and then you would choose the free version. Now, quick note here. In order to use the pro version, you also need the uh, free version installed. You can think of the pro version as an add-on to the main Elementor plugin, which is free. So first, you need to install the free plugin, choose the file, hit install now. And once it's installed, hit activate plugin. And now you'll see that the Elementor plugin is installed. To install the pro version, go again to plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, and select the zip file that you got when you purchased Elementor Pro. Hit install, activate plugin. Now in order to use this properly, we need to activate the license. And you can get the license number from uh, your account that is created when you purchase the pro version. So I'm going to go ahead and click activate license. I'm going to paste in my license key and there we go. My license is now active. Well, with our technical setup almost done, uh, it's time to install the Envato Elements plugin, which will allow us to download and use some uh, pre-built templates for Elementor. So to get the uh, plugin, you need to go to the wordpress.org plugin repository. Uh, the plugin is called Envato Elements Template Kits. It's made by Envato. So go ahead and download it. And then go back to your WordPress installation, Plugins, Add New. We're going to repeat the same steps as before. Upload, choose File, Install, Activate Plugin. 
And now your plugins page should look like this. You will have the main Elementor plugin installed and activated, Elementor Pro, and also Envato Elements installed and activated. All right, now that our technical side is taken care of, let's go ahead and create some uh, pages for our website. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll create a simple four-page website for a small business that sells juices. So let's go ahead and create those pages. We're back here in the WordPress dashboard. We'll go to Pages. You'll see by default, if you have a fresh installation of WordPress, uh, we have a sample page and a privacy policy. We're going to hit Add New and we can enter the title of our page and then we can edit that with Elementor. However, since we have the Envato Elements plugin installed, we're going to create th these pages using that one. So let's go back to Elements. Make sure we have Elementor selected here and Template Kits. We're going to hit More and we're going to choose Food and Drink. And then we're going to scroll down till we find Juice Bar. This is the uh, template that we're going to use for our website. What pages do we need? We need a home page, a menu, about us, and contact. Four pages. For the home page, we'll use the Home 6 template. Let's see, this is Home 4, Home 6. We'll choose it from here. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to create a page right here. We'll say Home page and then hit Create New Page. And now our page is created. If we go back here, you'll see home page. It's currently a draft, but we can get a quick preview. And it looks something like this. Pretty cool. Just with a few clicks, we now have a working page, which we can customize later. Now let's move on and create the rest of our pages. We'll go back to Elements. Again, we'll select Food and Drink. Scroll down to Juice Bar. The next page is for the menu. And for that, we'll choose Menu 5. Let's see, I believe it's this one. Menu 5. The title of our page will be Menu, Create. The next page will be About and we'll choose the About One template. So hit that, create new page. And finally, for contact, for the contact page, we'll use the Contact To template. Select that, Contact Us, or simply Contact, should be enough, create new page. And then we'll go back to Pages, and we'll see all four of our pages are right here as drafts, ready to be used and to be edited, which we'll do in the next tutorial. Now, before we wrap this up, let's take a quick look at Elementor and learn about the basic operations. There are a few ways you can edit a page with Elementor. The simplest way is to go to your desired page and either click this link or open the page itself and click Edit with Elementor. This will open up the Elementor editor and on the left side we have a sidebar with all of our widgets which we can simply click and drag onto our page. We also have options to define the colors and the fonts as well as some global settings. And on the right side, we see a live preview of the page we're currently editing. So the workflow is pretty simple. We can select various elements on our page, make the necessary changes. We can add new elements from the sidebar here on the right. And when we're happy with our changes, we just hit publish or save. And those changes will be applied to the page. Now, there are three key principles to working with Elementor, and those are sections, columns, and widgets. Sections are basically the largest building blocks, and 
When you hover on them, they get a blue dotted border, as well as some options here on the top to add a new section, to move or edit this section, or to delete it. Columns, which are also called inner sections, define your layout. You can choose how many vertical columns you want. And then widgets are basically content blocks for text, images, buttons, and other elements that you can find here in the sidebar. Now, quickly, let me show you how you can work with these. When you hover on a section, clicking the plus button will add a new section above the one that you just hovered. In here, you can click the plus button to select your structure or to define your columns. Let's say I want a three column layout. I'm gonna select this. And this automatically created three columns. And now what you can do is either click the plus button to add widgets or simply drag and drop from the sidebar. And it's that easy. If you want to delete a certain column, for example, you can right click on it, delete. If you want to duplicate one, you can also do this, duplicate, or you can edit you'll get all the editing options in the sidebar right here. Deleting a widget is also really simple. Let's say I want to delete this heading. Well, you simply right click on the uh, widget itself and hit delete. If you want to delete this entire column, simply click the X, or if you want to move it around, you can drag it and then move it around in its new position. And once you're happy with the changes, simply click the publish or save option that appears right here. And that concludes the first tutorial of this mini series. In part two, we'll customize our website and also explore Elementor in more detail. So thank you for watching. I will see you in part two.